Hello, I am Pradeep Kumar, Professor. Welcome you to the lecture on Fluid Statics as Module 3. It is being presented in six parts as listed. Similar to earlier lectures, in this lecture also, presentation is in conversational mode and with a stress on the concepts and practical applications. I am sure the presentation meets the demands of the students such as top performance in the semester examinations, competitive examinations and interviews. As discussed in the previous two lectures, a surface can be horizontal, vertical or inclined. It may be plane or curved. In this lecture, let us discuss various hydrostatical aspects pertaining to an inclined plane surface he must fully in a liquid. Now, let us start with the familiar examples as shown in figures. Say, a gate controlling the flow through a opening in a sloping side of a canal. A gate controlling the flow through an opening in a dam, sloping sides of a tank storing a liquid. Now, let us derive an expression for hydrostatic force acting on an inclined surface and also center of pressure. As shown in figure, consider an arbitrary shape inclined surface making an angle theta with the free surface. In the figure, Fs represents free surface. A glance at the figure indicates that in this case also, the depth of the liquid varies along the surface. We know from the hydrostatic law that P is equal to gamma H. That is, pressure varies with the depth of the fluid. So, similar to hydrostatic force, acting on vertical phase, in this case also, pressure distribution is not uniform over the surface. It varies from point to point along the height of the surface. However, unlike in the case of vertical plane surface, in this case, location of a point on the surface, say point M, is referred to in two ways. That is, vertical depth from free surface, Z bar as shown in figure, inclined distance from OO, Z, the OO line being perpendicular to the plane of screen and it represents line of intersection of the extension of the surface with the free surface. As the pressure varies from point to point, similar to what has been done in the case of vertical surface, the total hydrostatic force on the total surface is determined in pieces and then summed up together. That is, hydrostatic force on total surface is obtained by adding all the hydrostatic forces acting on the elemental strips. Now, consider a point on a strip as shown in figure. Strip is shown in green color in the figure. Let the area of the strip be dA. Let Z bar and Z be the vertical depth and the inclined distance of the elemental strip measured from the free surface. Let H bar and H be the vertical depth and inclined distance of center of gravity of the inclined surface measured from free surface. Let Y bar and Y be the vertical depth and inclined distance of the center of pressure measured from the free surface. We know the pressure intensity on the strip dA is d small p is equal to gamma z bar. The elemental hydrostatic force on this strip is pressure into area that comes to gamma z bar into dA while equation 2 represents the hydrostatic force on an elemental area. Then hydrostatic force on the total area of the inclined plane surface that is capital P is equal to integral dp is equal to integral gamma z bar dA as denoted by equation 3. We know from the figure that the axis of rotation is OO. That means if freedom is given to the plane surface, then it will try to rotate about OO axis. But pressure depends upon the vertical depth. So it is necessary to relate both inclined distance which indicates the distance related to rotation whereas vertical distance which relates to pressure calculations. Therefore, from the figure and from the symmetry of the triangles, Z bar by Z is equal to H bar by H is equal to 
y bar by y is equal to sin theta or z bar is equal to z sin theta h bar is equal to h sin theta y bar is equal to y sin theta equation 3 says p is equal to gamma z bar da substituting the results of equations 4 and 5 in equation 3 we get capital p is equal to integral gamma z sin theta da but gamma sin theta is constant therefore capital p is equal to gamma sin theta into integral z da a glance at the term z into da indicates that it is the product of area and the distance of this area from the axis of rotation it is the moment of the elemental area with respect to axis of rotation integral z da indicates it is the sum of the moments of the all elemental areas about the axis of rotation o o therefore integral z da is equal to h into a where h is the inclined distance of center of gravity of the area a is the area of the total surface substituting equation 7 in equation 6 it becomes p is equal to gamma sin theta into ha or p is equal to gamma into a into h sin theta p is equal to gamma a h bar so using equation 10 we can calculate the magnitude of the total hydrostatic force on the inclined surface location of center of pressure hydrostatic force on the elemental strip is equal to dp is equal to gamma into z sin theta into da now moment of this force about oo is dp into z because this force acts at a distance of z from the axis of rotation it comes to gamma sin theta z square da now sum of the moments of all the forces acting on all the elemental strips is equal to integral dp into z it comes to gamma sin theta into integral z square da but integral z square da is equal to i not moment of inertia about the axis of rotation and from parallel axis theorem as we discussed in the case of vertical plane also ig plus a h square where ig is the moment of inertia with respect to center of gravity therefore the expression gamma sin theta integral z square da gets simplified to gamma sin theta into ig plus a h square the moment of the total force about oo is p into y because y is the inclined distance of center of pressure from the axis of rotation equating equation 14 and 15 then p into y is equal to gamma sin theta into ig plus a h square therefore y is equal to gamma sin theta into ig plus a h square by p but y is equal to y bar by sin theta and p is equal to gamma a h bar substituting these two equations in equation 17 then it gets converted into y bar by sin theta is equal to gamma sin theta into ig plus a h square by gamma a h bar or y bar is equal to sin square theta into ig plus a h square by a h bar as denoted by equation 19 y bar is equal to ig sin square theta plus a h square sin square theta by a h bar on simplification it comes to y bar is equal to ig into sin square theta by a h bar plus h bar where h bar is equal to vertical depth of the center of gravity of the plane surface using equations 10 and 22 total hydrostatic force and its location that is position of center of pressure with respect to free surface pertaining to an inclined plane surface can be determined now let us discuss multiple choice questions from the topics covered in this lesson the term ig sin square theta by a h bar indicates the distance between center of gravity cg and center of pressure cp yes or no 
from the equation and the figure it is obvious that y bar is the distance of the center of pressure from the free surface h bar is the distance of center of gravity from the free surface the term ig sin square theta by ah bar indicates the distance between cg and cp so the answer is yes can ig sin square theta by ah bar be negative if so when no so the second part has no answer since ig sin square theta by ah bar is a positive term center of pressure is always below the center of gravity yes or no yes when a plane surface is immersed in a fluid at an angle theta with the free surface is slowly made vertical then the distance between center of gravity and the center of pressure becomes zero decreases increases inadequate data the answer is c increases because y bar is a function of sin square theta so as theta increases ig sin square theta by ah bar increases as theta tends to 90 degrees theta being inclination with the free surface equation for hydrostatic force for inclined surface becomes equal to that of horizontal surface yes or no so no theta becoming 90 means the surface is becoming vertical when a plane surface immersed in a fluid at angle theta with the free surface then cg is below cp cp is below cg cg is vertically below cp cp is always vertically below cg b distance between cg and cp for vertical and inclined plane surfaces will be in the ratio of sin theta sin square theta 1 by sin square theta 1 by sin theta c because in the question the first term is cg second term is cp for which angle of inclination with the free surface hydrostatic force on inclined surface becomes equal to that of horizontal surface 0 degrees 45 degrees 90 degrees 60 degrees a now let us discuss descriptive type of questions a circular plane surface of diameter 3 meter is immersed in oil of specific gravity 0.8 with its top and bottom points being 1.5 and 3 meters from the free surface respectively find the total force on its upper face and position of center of pressure before proceeding with the solution let me advise you because we have just now discussed hydrostatic force on inclined surface you will be of the opinion that this problem belongs to forces on inclined surface however in the examinations first you have to decide whether this problem is on vertical surface or inclined surface please add top distance plus diameter if it is less than the distance of bottom point automatically it is inclined let us convert the description into form of a figure as shown here the problem is on hydrostatic force on inclined surface the diameter of the plane surface is 3 meters depths of top and bottom points being 1.5 meter and 3 meters from the free surface the fluid is oil of specific gravity 0.8 plane surface is inclined assumptions continuum is valid rho of water is 1000 kg per cubic meter to be determined total force on upper face and a position of center of pressure total hydrostatic force we know p is equal to gamma into a into h bar gamma is the specific weight of the oil but he has given specific gravity we know specific gravity of the oil and the specific weight of the oil are related through water's density and the specific gravity of the oil so it comes to gamma of oil is equal to rho of water into specific gravity of oil into g substituting the known values it comes to 7848 newtons per cubic meter area of the plane surface is equal to 7.07 square meters h bar is equal to 2.25 meters that is average of top distance and bottom distance therefore the total hydrostatic force comes to 124.842 kilonewtons now position of center of pressure y bar 
it is ig sin square theta by ah bar plus h bar ig pi d4 by 64 it is 3.97 meter to the power of 4 sin theta it comes to 0.5 therefore y bar comes to 2.32 meters from free surface as shown in figure the total hydrostatic force on the surface is 124.842 kN and it acts at a vertical distance of 2.32 meters from free surface a pen star drawing water to the hydropower plant has its opening in the inclined upstream face of the dam with an inclination being 60 degrees to the horizontal it is closed by a 1.2 meter square plate of weight 2.5 newtons resting on the inclined upstream face it is hinged at the top horizontal edge which is at a depth of 2.5 meters from the free surface if the plate is operated by a chain with the line of action being 45 degrees to the upstream face of the dam attached to the lower end of the plate then determine the force to which the chain has to be designed to be safe now let us convert the description into the form of a drawing next the problem is on the design force of the chain that is indirectly hydrostatic force on the inclined surface size of the plate 1.2 meter square weight of the plate 2.5 newtons depth of the top edge of the plate from the free surface it is 2.5 meters inclination of the plate with the horizontal 60 degrees because the plate is resting on the upstream face but upstream face is making 60 degrees with the horizontal angle of inclination of line of action of the chain 45 degrees to the upstream face of the dam assumptions continuum is valid unit weight of water is taken as 1000 kg force per cubic meter in mks gravitational weight of the chain is neglected chain is attached at the center of the lower edge of the plate the thing to be determined is safe pulling that is a design force in the chain a glance at the data indicates that the plate is subjected to three forces as shown in figure number 1 self weight w of the plate acting vertically through the center of gravity of the plate hydrostatic force p acting normal to the plate but through the center of pressure pulling force t in the chain with line of action being inclined at 45 degrees to the plate now let us evaluate all the above three forces as given in the problem self weight of the plate is 2.5 newtons hydrostatic force p is equal to gamma into a into h bar a is equal to 1.44 square meters h bar that is the depth of center of gravity below the free surface a glance at the figure indicates it is 2.5 plus h1 what is this 2.5 meters it is the distance of the hinge from the free surface what is h1 it is the vertical distance between the hinge and the center of gravity but plate is inclined so we have to convert this half length of the gate which is inclined into its equivalent vertical distance so the adjacent figure says h1 is equal to 1.2 by 2 that is half length of the gate into sin 60 it comes to 0.52 meters therefore the depth of center of gravity below the free surface h bar is equal to 2.5 plus 0.52 it comes to 3.02 meters now the hydrostatic force p is equal to substituting the values of gamma a and h bar we get that as 42.66 kilo newtons now let us determine the position of center of pressure with respect to free surface that is y bar we know y bar is equal to ig sin square theta by ah bar plus h bar ig is equal to 0.17 meter to the power of 4 sin square theta is 0.75 substituting the above values in the equation for y bar then y bar is equal to 3.05 meters from free surface therefore the total hydrostatic force 
of 42.66 kN acts normal to the plate at a vertical distance of 3.05 meters from free surface as shown in figure the third force that is safe pulling force in the chain has to be determined a glance at the system of forces that is self weight of the plate hydrostatic force and safe pulling force in the chain indicates that w forms anti clockwise moment about the hinge please observe the figure bit carefully p also forms anti clockwise moment about the hinge whereas t that is safe pulling force forms clockwise moment about the hinge now by equating the algebraic sum of their moments to zero then the value of t can be determined it needs finding of their lines of action or lever arms with respect to hinge let the line of action of self weight of the plate w b l1 from the hinge as shown in figure then l1 is equal to 0.3 meters let the line of action of hydrostatic force p be l2 from the hinge as shown in figure then l2 is equal to 0.55 by sin 60 it comes to 0.635 meters let the line of action of t be l3 from the hinge as shown in figure then l3 is equal to 1.2 into sin 45 where 45 degrees is the angle made by the chain with the plate so l3 is equal to 0.85 meter equating the algebraic sum of the moments of these three forces to zero that is w into l1 plus p into l2 minus t into l3 is equal to zero with the legend being anti clockwise being positive clockwise being negative then the value of t the safe pulling force in the chain is 31.87 kN so before winding up let us recapitulate whatever that has been discussed in this presentation we had an illustrated discussion on hydrostatic force on an inclined surface location of center of pressure answering multiple choice questions with reasons to strengthen ourselves and then solving the problems finally intercepted in between by the questions that may most probably asked in the interviews before signing off i request you to leave your comments in the comment section to enhance communication between us like and share the video among your friends and concerned subscribe to my channel by clicking the bell icon the best way of getting updated with the information on the latest videos pertaining to the other topics of fluid mechanics hydraulics and hydrology in addition to career planning thank you very much and wish you an excellent future